In this session, we are going to discuss language processors and different types of language processors. Language processors are nothing but softwares. They usually take a source program in one language and translate that program into another language and that is the purpose of language processor. So now if you consider the figure number 1, here we are showing one kind of language processor known as a compiler which takes a program in the source language also the program will be known as a source program and here this compiler will deal with that particular program and it will translate it to the target program written in the target language and later the program will get executed whenever it is required. In case of compiler when the compilation or translation process will take place the program is not executing. Once this target program will be obtained and then the, then the program will be asked for execution whenever required and when the program will be executing no translation is taking place. That means only during this translation process the compiler and the source program must have the coexistences. But whenever the program will be executing then in the system where the program will be executing then there is no need to have the compiler's coexistence. If you consider this one that means this is the target program the target program is getting executed on, on a target computer there the compiler software we need not to keep that present and during this execution process it, it will take some inputs and it will process that input and it will produce the required output and that is the purpose of a program execution. Now if we come to the figure number 3 then we are getting this one it is an interpreter as if an interpreter is executing a program line by line. So interpreter will translate each and every statement of the program, program means source program written in some source language and it will produce the output in another language target language and from there the program will get executed. So line by line translation prior execution line by line will be done by this interpreter. Obviously when a particular statement is getting executed if it requires to take some input from the input devices of the system then it will it will take those inputs from the input devices and it will process it and the required output will be obtained. So obviously in case of interpreter during the program execution translation is also taking place. So interpreter will work little bit slower compared to that of compiler because in case of compiled program when it gets executed then compilation or translation is not taking place. But here each and every statement prior to getting executed should be translated to some intermediate language and then from there the, pro the statement will get executed. So as the execution and translation is taking place side by side so a program getting executed through an interpreter will be having some slower execution. Now come to this particular uh, compiler this is a special type of compiler known as a hybrid compiler. So now what will happen the source program will be taken by the translator and it will produce the program not in the target language but some intermediate program will be generated. And this intermediate program will be totally machine architecture or machine platform independent. Platform of a system, platform of a computer means the architecture or the hardware, the architecture of the machine and the operating system. Commonly we call it as a platform. So now this particular target program which is written in some intermediate language also known as the intermediate program it will be totally platform independent. But this particular platform independent version of the program will be executed after taking inputs from the input devices through a virtual machine which will be platform dependent. So this virtual machine is platform dependent which will take this particular intermediate language program as input and this inputs from the input devices and it will it will uh, execute it process it and it will produce the required output. So this is known as hybrid compiler. In our Java program also we are having this source program and we are having this particular translator which will convert this particular program in the byte code format which is totally platform independent that means architecture and operating system independent. Later the operating system and architecture dependent later the platform dependent Java virtual machine will come 
which will take this particular independent language program as input and also the input from the input devices and it will process it and produ produce the required output. It sometimes we usually get just in time compiler that means prior execution this particular intermediate program will be translated to the required target program in the target language suitable for the platform and then the program will get executed and that sort of compilers are known as just in time compiler. In this way compilers and interpreters are being treated as a language processors. I think you are getting this logic and in our next videos we will be discussing so many issues on this compiler. Please watch all of them, please be with us and thanks for watching this video.